looking back at 30 years that I've been a part of the company, the crowning achievements, one of them certainly you have to underscore is 2016. Denny Hamlin winning the Great American Race, the Daytona 500, and not just him winning it, but the manner in which we won it, because that day we showed the industry how to race at a plate track. The irony is, is our competition is now using that against us. We set about a strategy on how to work together as a team, and it's two teams at the time it was Joe Gibbs Racing and Furniture Row Racing, but. For a good chunk of that race, it was the five Toyotas leading the pack. And that was a very deliberate strategy. Right now, Intensa, Truex, and Kyle Busch. But here comes Hamlin, storming up the outside of the racetrack for second. And that outside lane up to the second spot, led by Denny Hamlin. Throws the block, does that tend to see that is it. Here comes Martin Truex Jr. to the bottom. Checkered flag waving at the start finish line. Who will get there first? It's Truex on the inside, Hamlin on the outside, and too close to call. Denny Hamlin showing up as the race winner. It was crazy. I mean, I just couldn't believe, you know, that, that we accomplished something that, uh, that was that great. When the white flag flew, I knew it was my opportunity to make a move, and, and we made the best of it. The 20 went to block, and I knew I was going middle the whole time. I just needed to wait until he didn't realize that. When I got off the of turn four to make sure I was behind the 78, to then be able to slingshot right before the line to get ahead of him. Uh, it's counterintuitive. You think you just want to hold it down and go as fast as you can, but usually the guy that's ahead off of turn four always gets beat to the line. So I knew as soon as my was nose ahead, I was like, I've got to check up to let him get back ahead of me so I can use the side draft to beat him to the line. And it was just close enough. When I crossed the line, I, I did not know. The only thing I saw is when I was, when I passed the start finish line, I saw the number always changes at Daytona. The, if there's a new leader, it flashes up top. Well, as I'm going by and I look at this leaderboard, there's no number that's up in number one because I'm looking right when it's flashing black. So uh, it was right around uh, the turn two when I kind of heard everybody screaming on the radio that I knew I'd won at that point. My favorite moment, and there's a picture of it, is that, you know, you're, it's probably midnight or so. It's, it's uh, you know, really dark after the race. The media's done. I'm finished in the media center, and there's a picture of me walking back into the motorhome lot uh, with the pylon right behind me, and you see the number 11 on top after 200 laps, and, uh, you know, the, the day's work was done at that point. I will still qualify that that single race win is certainly one of our biggest wins. And I said it at the time, what is Daytona 500? The great American race. Toyota won the great American race.